Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Oh, my goodness. It is so great uh, to have you tune us in, turn us on right here on the Dr. Pat Show on Transformation Talk Radio, TransformationRadio.fm. And I have to take a breath because I am so grateful. I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm so grateful for the creativity of what I think is one of the best teams around. And that is um, those are the people that push all the right buttons, the creative team at uh, TransformationRadio.fm, all of the producers, Benny, Chris, uh, Brian, everybody on, uh, over, over there on the East Coast, uh, and all of you that have been tuning us in and turning us on for so long. You are the best listeners on the planet, and I'm telling you that my heart just opens wide open every time I get to connect with you. Today is one of those days as well. You know, one of the things I love about my life is that I do something in the world that I would have never, ever thought I'd be doing. And by the way, you're not going to see in any of those yearbooks and that stuff, Benny, they put together that says, oh, my God, she's going to be like super communicating over the airways. No, you're going to see things like, oh, my God, we hope that she doesn't end up in jail. That's what you see in my yearbook and, you know, like the things that people write. Uh, but here we are. How do we get here? I'm going to be doing a whole series about that at another time uh, during the week. But what I love is I get to honor people that are that are literally carving out a pathway for us to show up as our best in this world, to understand the power and the potential of spirituality and spiritual practice. So today, I am so thrilled again to introduce you to my friends at Spirit Fire Radio. We're going to talk about their upcoming show. We're going to talk about Spirit Fire's meditation program, the practice of living awareness, and how it is being transformed into a phenomenal hit radio show. Now, you got to ask yourself, why? Why is this day and age we live in? Why is it so important to cultivate consciousness living? Well, I'm going to leave that up to my special guests today, introducing you to them again, Tim Darter and Steve Kramer. Of course, they are folks that are teachers and and crafters of the practice of living awareness, a meditation technique, but it's also more than that. And you're going to hear from them today why. So how do these folks, you know, coming out of one of the busiest places on the planet, New York City, we know about that place, you know, coming through the life there and emerge as individuals who look at meditation as an integral part of the healing practice. You know, how is it that Steve, you know, coming upon the practice of living awareness, you know, how is it that he was able to say, I have found a meditation practice that works for me? You know why? He is not any different than, any, than the rest of us who have said, oh, meditation again? I have never been able to get it to work. Well, today you're going to find out why. Tim, joining me here today, Tim Darter, also Executive Director of Spirit Fire, ready? Meditative Retreat Center. What an amazing place this is. You're going to get information about how you can take a look at this beautiful, beautiful retreat center. And what does this really mean to connect with the multidimensional aspect of who we are? Earth, wind, fire, you name it. 
How do we connect with ourselves? And what happens when we actually struggle to do that? Well, that's why Tim works with corporations, communities, families, works with all sorts of people from all walks in life. So both Tim and Steve open their doors, open their hearts, and bring their voice to the forefront so that we can have the practice of living awareness. Tim, Steve, so great to have you here. Uh, it's Hi, great Dr. to Pat. be here. How are you? I'm rocking it. How are you guys? <laughs> that was uh, quite the introduction. Yes, that was you. wonderful. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Uh, it is a very important topic. And I want to start out, and I'm going to put myself on, what is that show? Chops, that food show. I'm going to put myself on a chopping block here for a minute. <laughs> One of the things that we have in common is we both kind of grew up in New York City. And, you know, people say to me, now that I live out in Seattle, what have I had to change about myself? And what my answer used to be is some long story. And now what I say is, what do I have to change about myself? Well, what has moving out here changed for me? And I want to ask you, this world is getting busier. People are plugged in 24-7 we are in the world of digital titus, as I like to call it. And I want to hear from each of you. Why is this meditation program, the radio show, why is this more important now than it ever has been? Awareness, you know, it's called the practice of living awareness for a reason. And it's it's living that awareness. Distraction is definitely, it's almost an epidemic and I can remember back in New York City seeing people on the subway for the first time with an iPod and having headphones on and thinking, wow, that person is really in their own space, you know, sort of really uh, not relating to everybody around them. And that was way back in, in uh, you know, the, in the, at the beginning of the, the new century. And as time went on, you just saw people on the subway yeah. with more and more headphones and then cell phones came around. And I remember just thinking, this is it. We're really going to get very insular. And I thought this could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. But what happened is I think people really stopped learning how to relate to one another. We, relation became uh, almost an issue. We all became really focused on, on pinpointed focus. And I think what meditation does and what the practice of living awareness is aiming to do is to have us be aware, have us to be able to connect to each other, connect to the world around us, and quiet our minds for a moment, be able to create some space. And uh, we just don't have that as much as, as we don't have space in the form of time. And uh, I think we're, we're just moving in closer and closer together. For me, that was uh, New York City was just uh, not allowing that sort of space. The city just kept building and building and getting tighter and tighter. And uh, the more I found that space in my mind, the more I needed it in my uh, general surroundings. But certainly, that's not for everybody. And uh, meditation can just give you that space that you need. Yeah. And you I know, I want to do this. Let, let's take a short break. Uh, when we come back, uh, I want to just jump into this in depth without any interruption, because what you're talking about is systemic. You know, does it have to be New York? Can it be the BART? How about Metro in Seattle? Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. You may call it in this evening, but you've only lost the night. Preset all your pretty feelings. May they comfort you tonight. The preceding audio was via a Skype call. 
Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit the Truth is Funny. Com. Call the Oprah of radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Pat Show.com for listening times in your area. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on a diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Tune in to the hit show Masters Chambers with your trusted friend, Connie Fife. Mondays, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Each week, Connie will connect you with the best of the best thought leaders from around the globe to share their strategies and best practices. Getting better together. To book Connie, visit ConnieFifeSpeaks.com. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeluceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. I am so thrilled to be talking. And again, uh, I'm going to give you lots of information. So yes, uh, spiritfire.com. Tim Darter, Steve Kramer, they are uh, they are the creators. They are the hosts of the upcoming amazing show, Spirit Fire Radio, and we're talking about it, we're talking about Spirit Fire Radio, the form that it's taking, and how what they've created in the practice of living awareness is so relevant today. Um, and, you know, you all were talking about the busyness of the world, and I wanted to make sure we got back to that because that is really setting the stage for you know for spirit fire radio and why this is so important today so let's pick up where we left off if we could sure yeah uh the practice of living awareness uh we we run a retreat center here in western massachusetts and i've been doing this for many many years and one interesting thing is to see people come for a long retreat they check in and boy everybody's wound up in the in the, the next morning everybody wants their coffee and you realize that the pace of life is just quicker than ever. You know, everybody's busy. Everybody's uh, a little a little less willing to give themselves that time for themselves and that time to create some space both in their mind and in their life. So, indeed, meditation is a uh, is really lovely gift to give to yourself these days. Wow. Well, you know, part of this is really taking a look at this in the bigger message and the universal message that that is really being called for in the world. 
Uh, and I would love for you to talk about the radio show and the practice of living awareness. You know, how has that be going to become and is part of the radio show? I, can we get a little sneak? Can we have a sneak peek? So the the our practice of living awareness is a 14 step program. And what we're going to do with the radio show is take each step and highlight that each week during our show and have a guest that actually brings forth the essence of that step. Indeed. Uh, each step builds upon the one before it. And after 14 steps and 14 weeks, you've got your own meditation tool kit, sort of a tool belt. And we find that every step in the practice has got something within it that you could use in almost any situation of your day. Uh, we've got step one is smile. You know, who, who doesn't need to smile? We, we start each and every meditation here at Spirit Fire with a smile and a long, slow, deep breath. And we do meditation here seven days a week, almost 365 days a year. We do live online meditation. And we do that uh, within the practice. We do the same thing. We take one step a week for 14 weeks, and then we start the practice again. And we notice that each round, again, builds on the round before it, just as each step builds on the step before it. And we thought, how how wonderful yeah. to be able to bring this to the radio, to a weekly radio show, and find wonderful guests. We're basically a revolving door here at Spirit Fire Retreat Center. We've got amazing teachers, amazing leaders, and writers, uh, artists, and we get in these amazing discussions and, and um, are privy to amazing programming that happens here. And we, f we see that each step of the practice comes up constantly. It, it is the focus of, of, uh, of an entire presentation. And we just see that each one of these steps becomes a part of sort of everybody's step stones and everybody's sort of spiritual development. So we thought it would be wonderful to create a show where we can spend one whole episode talking about each particular step of the practice and, and people who can bring forth that essence. Sounds like great fun to us. Yeah. I mean, it sounds yeah. like great fun. And, you know, part of this, too, is beyond being great fun. You know, what you have created are tools that are going to help people really change their lives. And this is, you know, part of what we were talking about earlier is how do we look at, you, you know, incorporating into our lives some of the amazing practices you know some of the things that can help us and you're going to bring you're going to bring this to the forefront during the show uh and talk about you know who are some of the guests you're going to have who are the people that are going to come to the table to help us understand the nature of living awareness in our everyday lives because that's really what people are hungry for isn't it indeed yeah, definitely Yes, our first show um, for Step One Smile, we're planning on bringing a good friend of ours, Lori Warren of Warren Wellness, and she's a, a clinical nutritionist, and she, she is excellent about telling and teaching people on what, from a nutritional perspective, is the best things to put in their body so that everything smiles, and smile is, um, brings the life and brings the, the joy and the spirituality and we're going to bring that right to nutrition and start talking about what good things to eat that will just make that exude all over. Yeah, smile always starts the practice. So we figure, uh, why not start our new show uh, with with a similar smile? You know, the way you start your day is so important. Uh, the food we put in our body. I know here at the retreat center, we work really hard to bring just amazing smiles uh, to people's faces at the at the mm -hmm. table. Um, so she's she's just a, a wonderful, amazing human being, full of energy, full of insight, knows so much about the physiology and what actually brings light to our cells, brings light to our body, and um, makes it smile. Uh, we've got um, step two is tip of the nose uh, that focuses on on focus itself. We've got uh, Dr. Lisa Napora. She is um, she works in contemplative education and higher learning, trying to bring meditation and mindfulness into colleges. And she's done tons of studies on what focus brings to a classroom. Just taking five minutes out of the beginning of each classroom for a moment of focus and what that does, and that relates to an entire step in the practice, which is tip of the nose, which is when your mind starts to wander, your mind starts to move off a bit, 
we always bring the mind back to the tip of the nose and it talks goes deep into what is focus and what does that bring to a meditation practice so each one of these steps then we will cover completely and we'll dive deep into it so that you feel that you understand within 14 shows 14 steps you've got each one of those tools situation you could uh, come across well and you know part of this too is really people longing for something different in their lives longing for you know of a, a different way of expressing themselves and you know some of that for sure what you guys are going to talk about during the show but another part of it is how this is also you know the micro and the macro of the retreat center you know I would love for you to talk a little bit about, you know, the retreat center and how that actually works in supporting people to take this action that many of us, Tim, Steve, many of us, we really haven't learned how to do it on our own. And so you've created an environment and a place, a loving place where people get to learn, experience, explore and then explode into a new way of being. I would love for you to talk a little bit how the retreat center supports the radio and the radio, the the retreat center. Sure, so the practice of awareness like Steve had alluded to goes on every day here. And then during the retreat season, our high retreat season, we have different groups that come in each week and whatever it is that they're um, trying to teach others we're going to incorporate into a particular step. For instance, this last weekend we had um, a shamanic healing group that came. And when we talked to um, Zakaya, who's the leader of that, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. The whole that was here, um, they were learning so many things about the shamanic healing and sound healing on the retreat side. And then they would come in to basically what we call the residence, our side of the retreat center, where we would um, prepare their meals and really create that space that allowed their their um, programming to continue and through all of those conversations that we have with all of the individual people whether it's on the nutritional aspects of what we're serving them whether it's on what they've learned and they're teaching us what they've just gone through we then can incorporate that into a session of uh, a particular step of the practice and then present it to everyone else um, and how it applies and what we learned and, and how other people can actually implement it into their own daily routine. Wow. And, you know, one of the things that I love uh, talking about... I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, just creating a space where um, where mindfulness is key, where, um, where people come in and they basically feel met. Uh, where they feel that they can connect to themselves and, and create an energetic where they can connect to each other. Um, and to us, that is the practice of living awareness. That is meditation, giving yourself that time to, um, to, to be met, to feel met, met by the breath, met by yourself, and uh, open to a new experience. Yeah, open to a new experience. Well. Yeah, well, one one of the things that I love is there's so much to talk about and so much to really, you know, blend into the conversation. I would love to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Spirit Fire Radio, but we're also going to talk about what are these steps? You know, what do some of these steps, you know, what do they help us see in the world? And how do they help us live in the busy, busy, busyness of our everyday lives. For those of you out there, I want to give you some information. You can go to spiritfire.com, of course. Uh, and when we come back, I'm going to give you some phone numbers, give you ways to find out about the radio show, and much more. Facebook, all of the social media things we need to know. When we come back, Tim and Steve are going to take us on a journey into the world of Spirit Fire Radio, into the world of this amazing, amazing practice of living awareness. You're listening to Dr. Pat Show, Talk Radio to Thrive By. For more information about us, go to the Dr. Pat Show. Dot com, uh, or you can go to TransformationTalkRadio.com or TransformationRadio.fm. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. There's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring. Forgive me for breathing. We might not know why. We might not know how. But baby, tonight we're beautiful now. 
Preceding audio was via a Skype call. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. Tune in to Prescience Life Radio with host Mia Simone. Mia is devoted to sharing her extensive knowledge on the invisible worlds of energy. Join Mia and discover the science of intuition and connect with your greatest gift. Start living in your potential today and every day by opening up to the power of inner knowledge. To learn more about Mia, visit presciencelife.com. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. Tune in to the hit show Masters Chambers with your trusted friend, Connie Fife. Mondays, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Each week, Connie will connect you with the best of the best thought leaders from around the globe to share their strategies and best practices. Getting better together. To book Connie, visit ConnieFifeSpeaks.com. My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basile is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. The following audio is via a Skype call. I see what you're wearing, there's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring, forgive me for breathing. We might not know why, we might not know how, but baby tonight, we're beautiful now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It is really cool to be connecting with all of you today. Today, we are talking all about a fabulous new hit show coming up, Spirit Fire Radio. And I have the co-hosts of the show, Tim Darter and Steve Kramer, joining me here today. Uh, We're going to talk a bit about, they're going to give us like a little sneak preview here about what the steps are and, you know, what makes the practice of living awareness so unique. And this is going to be an amazing experience in doing the show and provide us with tools and a tool belt that is for everyday use. Uh, Tim, Steve, take it away. So meditation has been a really wonderful thing for me. Uh, when This is Steve here. When, when I first realized that I needed to create some space in my mind and started on my own personal spiritual journey, I realized that meditation was going to need to be important. I needed to create space in my mind. And I was living in New York City and looking for just the perfect meditation practice that was going to suit me. Boy, I tried everything. I was sitting in rooms of silence for 60 minutes with my brain just going crazy. I could hear myself almost swearing inside of my head, thinking I was going to just scream out at any minute. And 
there were walking meditations. I tried so many different practices and none of them just seemed to fit for me. I always felt like I was sitting in a room full of people that knew exactly what they were doing and I was the new kid on the block and I just wasn't going to get it. I felt like I, I just needed, I needed something that was going to um, really help me to relate to meditation and what that was and what that meant. And I came across the practice of living awareness at the time. I was um, doing this online, and it worked for me. It was a revelation. I started this round, first round of 14 steps, and each step was a week. And with each step, I learned one particular aspect of meditation that then built upon the next. And I found myself every week taking that step and applying it to my day, no matter what I was doing, the people I was talking to, my work experiences, and it seemed to just come alive for me. And so the meditation was not just in the med on the meditation cushion, but it was actually in my day. And I would be excited for the next week to start the next step and add to that. And I got to know the practice so well, I became a teacher of the practice and then actually moved to the retreat center in uh, Massachusetts that uh, Donna Mitchell Moniak, who's the founder of Spirit Fire, which is an educational nonprofit, she created this meditation practice. She taught me the practice and um, went on to be president of the board. So I'm now here living in uh, Massachusetts, running the retreat center and teaching this meditation practice. And for myself, what makes the practice of living awareness such a unique um, methodology towards meditation is you really are given 14 steps, that, as Steve said, build upon one another so that if you're new to meditation, like I was myself when I started to kind of learn it and, and delve into it, um, it, really, it really sets the pace for yourself and tells you what it is you need to focus on for that week so that when you're done, you have a full um, tool, a full tool belt full of um, tools <laughs> to use um, wherever they be necessary throughout your day. So the first half of the practice is really about calming the mind. It's about learning to center. Steps one through seven is um, really about creating that asana and creating space that you're comfortable with the mind and you're comfortable with the centeredness. From seven through 14, we practice uh, illumined perception, and that's really diving into the uh, more subtle aspects of the mind and of the subtle systems of the body. We incorporate lots of talk of the chakras, understanding the chakra system, understanding the central channel, which goes up and down the body and aligns all of the chakras. So it's a really, really dynamic practice divided in two, and each, each part is uh, really exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go through the steps of the practice just so you get a little idea of, of, of what we're doing here. The first step is smile. And that is how we start every meditation practice. I mentioned that earlier, which is we smile and take a long, slow, deep breath. Um, smile changes everything. When we were creating the promos for the show, Tim and I are both new to radio. We were doing the promos for the show, and our voices sounded a little, uh, a little <laughs> tough. And um, on the other <laughs> end, the business. Yeah, on the other end, they said, "Guys, while you're talking, just smile." And we thought, oh my goodness, here we go. We're, we're starting this, this great adventure, and someone's telling us right at the beginning, smile, as if we shouldn't know that to begin with. As soon as we smiled and we started talking, we sounded natural. There was ease. There was space. And everything just flowed. So it's so important, smile. Uh, tip of the nose is another step that, that, as we said before, focus that is on focus. On, uh, we move from there on to flow onto understanding the flow of the breath and how flow is related in everything, related to, um, to the seasons. There is a flow in the day. There is a flow in a conversation with another. And to really focus on the flow of the breath is uh, to understand the, the deep, deep messages that the breath can offer us. Um, really, just about everything we could learn about ourselves and about the mind is offered with the breath itself. I mean, I'm sorry, with the flow of the breath itself, just by simply stopping and taking note of flow. And then we'll move on to soften, open, and receive. Softening and opening each breath, we soften and open to a new breath. And then on to releasing, softening, opening, and releasing. Uh, there are subtle things that happen within the body when we exhale, actually soften our rib cage. We open our ribcage in order to release 
um, both receiving and releasing are such uh, huge notions in our life, eh, Tim? Mm -hmm. yes. Opening to a new experience, opening to uh, a new person, a new relationship. Yeah. And release, knowing when to go. And, and you so know, go on. Part, yeah, part of this is really being in that place where, you know, as we're understanding and learning that we have a really true sense of how things are changing in our world. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, uh, we're going to be we're going to be kicking it up here. Spirit Fire Radio, everyone. I'm so thrilled to be introducing all of you to this fabulous show. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. We'll light up the sky. We'll open the clouds. Because, baby, tonight we're beautiful now. Preceding audio was via a Skype call. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. You got attitude? Keys to the rescue. Adjust your attitude with Keys Clear Protein Waters. So refreshing. Just a few sips of Keys will give you a whole new outlook thanks to 22 grams of the happiest protein on earth. Tongue tingling tasty without the guilt of naughty or nasty ingredients. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, maybe you need to drink too. Put a little in your attitude with Keys Protein Water. On Amazon or at Keys, K-E-E-S, please, dot com. Each month, listen to Live More Radio with co-host Ali Katz. Join Ali and Dr. Pat as Ali introduces new ways to bring balance back to your life through meditation, sleep, and exercise techniques so you can live your truly authentic life. Stress less. Live more. To learn more about Ali, visit livemoreradio.com. Clairvoyance, a gift few have. And even fewer match the powers of one of America's best. Dr. Linda Salvin. Dr. Linda's uncanny ability drills to the core of your issues to bring you quick and accurate answers and predictions. In more than two decades, Dr. Linda has helped over 75,000 people. On national radio, by phone, in person. When you need answers, Dr. Linda makes it clear. Book your time with this legendary seer now. Click on lindasalvin.com or call 888-509-1077. Are you tired of being bloated and nauseous? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know eating unhealthy foods eventually leads to an unhealthy digestive system? Did you know eating the most healthy, nutritious food doesn't necessarily result in a healthy body? The stomach must be healthy in order to properly digest, metabolize, and utilize even the best of nutrition. Without proper digestion from the stomach through the intestinal tract, the nutritious value is not absorbed and the improperly digested food can be more toxic to your body than helpful. You can be doing all the right things and getting all the wrong results. In fact, other organs may also be interfering with your stomach's ability to digest. Contact us today for your appointment at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. Or visit us at MaryJaneMack.com. The following audio is via a Skype call. Find out what we're made of. When we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me. Wow. What a great, great conversation. It's really great to have Tim and Steve join us here today. You know, we're talking about Spirit Fire Radio, and we're talking about, you know, how the show is going to bring a powerful, powerful message to the forefront. And they are each giving us kind of like a little sneak preview. Maybe they'll even share what their favorite step is. But it's all part of a a, a new awareness about why taking steps to quiet the mind is so important. I would love for you both to, before we get started, 
please let folks know um, what you have for an upcoming event, you know, what you have in terms of scholarship programs, and the best way for people to get a hold of you. Well, certainly by going to spiritfire.com. That's our website, and tells everything about the meditation program. It tells everything about our upcoming retreats. Uh, we've got a wide variety of retreats. Uh, meditation retreat coming up in September and most excited to announce that we're starting a brand new round we've been talking about the practice of living awareness and we do this meditation free online every day and the 14 weeks of this current round is coming to an end so we're going to start a new one so uh, if you just go to spearfire.com and look in that the meditation tab it, it explains uh the the practice itself and the the new the new round it's exciting to uh, be live with a group of people online we were sort of pioneers with that doing online meditation with groups of people and really wonderful to create a group field with people from all over the world joining live every morning 9 a.m eastern and uh really incredible to to feel that group field and one of the programs that we love to uh, promote for the retreat center is what we call Raise It Forward. And it's our program where, based on donations, we offer the retreat center up to those groups that normally wouldn't be able to um, attend, either because they're student-based or um, just because they're programming in general. So we, we open it up so that it's, it's much more of a viable option for other nonprofits, for those groups that have um, missions similar to ourselves, um, so if you want to check anything like that, just go to www.spiritfireretreatcenter.com and look up the Raise It Forward program. Yeah, that's really a wonderful program. It allows um, it allows students and uh, groups that would otherwise not be able to afford a retreat center setting to come and really appreciate the land, appreciate meditation, mindfulness, and really being in an environment that uh, fosters learning and fosters, you know, the development of the higher mind. And we've we've uh, seen great results with this program and wonderful donors that have that have uh, added to that. Really appreciative of that. So yeah, it's a great program. Check it out. It is, and you know, really, really talks to what we were saying before about why this is so relevant today. I mean, I shared some statistics uh, during a previous show about what the rate of plugging in to digital um, to, to digital devices was in in America, and you know, and why that's being done and how it's being done and how many people are doing it. And we're now finding out that, you know, we're not talking a handful of people. We're talking to millions and millions of people plugging in 24-7. A lot of folks have a really hard time unplugging for even 15 minutes, right? And so here we are. And one of the things that we... Yeah, go ahead. One of the things we see in the retreat center is once they're in that environment mm-hmm. and they're made aware and are much more mindful of how plugged in they are, it's amazing how quickly that connection comes back between themselves and their, their either their fellow students or just between us. Um, and they actually realize just how plugged in they are. And by the end of their stay here, they're pretty much unplugged. And they're just a totally different, vibrant human being. And that's, that's actually, this is Steve here, that's exactly what meditation can do for for someone personally is creating that space and um, creating uh, allowing that space within your body creating um, a, a, a way giving your body a way out of the busyness a way to um, center a way to align and a way to create space and it only takes 15 minutes 20 minutes of a day to create a practice, a meditation practice that can allow that. Well, and you know, this is really what we're talking about, taking time out to do something that will literally give us our peace of mind and joy back. I would love to have you both talk a little bit about what the end result is. I mean, how do lives change? Because sometimes we can't see that. You know, sometimes we think, okay, yeah, I've heard about this, but what can I expect? What kind of changes have you seen in each of you, but also in the people that you've seen come through and work with you? Certainly what I find is you can connect 
to the absolute core of a person and begin to sense the fullest version of that person. Um, what meditation does, I believe, is, is allows us to come back to ourselves. Uh, we spend so much time on the exterior world, and the interior world is so dynamic, and I think sometimes people forget that. They don't realize that that 10 minutes spent on this vibrant interior can show them and teach them so much. It creates a reverence and a sense of wonder within themselves. A reconnection to themselves just means that reconnection to that vibrancy. And um, I find that people are more creative. I find that um, inspired, um, that there's a, a level of intuition. And, um, and they're able to connect a lot of dots that they previously didn't see and which a lot of times is very healing for whatever the situation is that they're going through. And they're able to actually let go of it and move on from it, having learned something that really helps them as they move forward in their lives. After all, we're all the same inside. <laughs> Certainly one thing that, that the Internet, we talk about being distracted by the Internet so often, but it certainly connected us to a global consciousness. And, boy, when we tap into ourselves, we, you know, we tap into that sense that we're all the same. We're all, we've all got that, um, we've all got that heart, we've all got that heart-mind connection, and it's that tapping into that universal connection I find that's so rewarding for so many people. Yeah, and you know, part of this is something that you said. It's kind of like uh, we talk a lot about the negative impact of technology. But, you know, recently a survey pointed out that, you know, that is really not the case. There's a very small percentage of people that believe technology, and this is all ages, you know, has a negative impact. Uh, and what you're, you know, what we're talking about here today is that we now live in a world that is r- literally being driven by how quickly we connect with each other and how important that connection is. So I, I, I think that what we're talking about here is embarking upon a show and a journey to give people some tools. Do each of you have a favorite step? Yes, mine is step three, which is flow. And that's because of the breath. It's a personal tool that I use throughout my day to really just, when I feel like I need to center myself or I'm, I'm being thrown off by something, to just take that breath, get more in tune with what's going on and able to see what's going, the pieces that are moving, slow myself down, um, and actually take the necessary steps for myself so that I'm not so reactive in a particular situation and I can actually step back and be proactive. To keep myself centered. Wow. Yeah, I've always loved Steve here. I always loved soften, open, and receive. There is just an amazing moment within the practice and within meditation when we really feel and understand the subtleties of opening ourselves up to the experience of meditation, and that realization comes with just realizing that we are breathing. We are constantly taking a breath. Our body is constantly on its own, naturally softening and opening to the newness of a new breath. And for me, when we sit, align, and actually sense and allow ourselves to tap into the dynamic that's happening when we open, soften, and receive a breath, it just feels great. It feels like there are limitless possibilities. We are constantly opening up to the new and that is the present moment to be right there opening softening being ready for the new i'm pretty excited within the practice for that step too we're going to have an esoteric astrologer uh on the show who's going to talk about opening up to the aquarian age and you know we see we see radio shows like this we see uh, your station, Transformation Radio, we just see these things taking off and everybody wanting to get into that game. And that is the Aquarian age. You know, we're moving into a new era of consciousness and open-mindedness and, and of really connection. And so how do we open to that? How do we make sure that within any moment in our day we stay open so that we can be open to the greater movements and the greater connections to an entire new age? I find that show is going to be really exciting. 
I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about what people will learn from it. Um, and, you know, I, I got to ask you a question. How has, how has the practice, how has Spirit Fire Retreat Center, how has that changed each of you? Because I know I was introducing you before, you know, New York City artists and so forth. Uh, and, you know, to listen to you both now, that seems like it is like an eternity away, right? Uh, and I know yeah, you, can't, yeah, yeah, take, totally. you can't take the New Yorker out, but but how has all of this changed each of you? Well, I think for myself, what it's what it's allowed me to do is to keep it real, real, very real, and to keep things very simple. And to the people we meet through the retreat center are always such a breath of life. It's so interesting and so fun to meet every different person who comes through and their story and how it is that they're on their spiritual um, path and awakening and it just keeps you open to the love of life that's what I've found that I revel in every day I'm very grateful for well the the practice of living awareness has has just brought life to me I mean I I I was um I was just out this morning, literally staring at a tree, listening to the birds, and feeling the movement and the flow of this tree, of the wind, and watching the tree move, feeling it within my body, connecting to it with my breath. And boy, if, if I, if I, if you told me I was going to do that 15 years ago, I would have said you were crazy. Um, the practice of living awareness has brought just a sort of understanding of my relationship to my world. How do I move in the world? How do I move with my breath? How do I move within my spiritual journey and my spiritual path? It's kept it all very present, and um, it's just helped me to come alive and appreciate every moment, become aware of the subtle beauty that is there within every single moment. Um, you'll find as we talk about the practice quite a bit, you'll see that it's a, a tantric practice. We talk about relationship a lot and the relationship of each flow to of each step with the flowing of nature and with the relationship um, to the world around us and how does our interior actually match our exterior and what what does each relationship within each step say to that. So it's just taught me to, to appreciate relation and my place in the world. Well, and you know, this is really what this is about, to re of, of, uh, then turn around and be of service to so many, right? Because I mean, right. that's yeah, what the retreat like center is all about, right? Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, we just had an amazing group here just left a couple days ago. Uh, people from all over the world, from Singapore, all over Canada, two people from Hawaii. We had sound healers and teachers and really incredible people. Um, wonderful to see them all on their journey, support them on their journey, meditate with them, and uh, experience their programming. Uh, it's just been uh, wonderful to be of service and uh, and definitely our calling. I love it. You know, let's take a moment, one more time, let folks know the best way they, they can find out more about you, websites, telephone numbers, and, and, and again, just remind us of what you've got coming up. Sure. Well, Spirit Fire Radio would be a wonderful place to go, www.spiritfireradio.com. And that's going to talk about the show itself and uh, the episodes and what we have in store. There's also SpiritFireRetreatCenter.com and full of amazing pictures and tells all about our organization and uh, about everything we've got going on at the center. And then if you just go to SpiritFire.com, you'll get to learn about our educational nonprofit and the three pillars that support it, which is our retreat center, the practice of living awareness, our meditation program, and then our educational um, curriculum based on conscious living. I love it. Thank you both. Thank you both so very much for everything that you do uh, and uh, for this amazing, amazing radio series that we're getting ready to enjoy. Thank you so much to both of you. And we're looking forward to it. And thanks to Benny for pushing all the right buttons. And thanks to all of you for tuning us in and turning us on. We will see you next time on the show. All right.
preceding audio was via a Skype call.